stop scrolling for a second and look at the device you're watching this on. It's probably a phone, maybe a laptop. We're obsessed with these things. We obsess over the next iPhone camera, the next MacBook processor, the next iPad screen. We are so focused on the technology in our pockets that we are completely missing the revolution happening right in our living rooms. What if I told you that the most important game-changing device Apple releases in the next year won't be a phone? It won't be a watch. It's going to be that quiet, unassuming black box sitting under your television. You probably know it as the thing you use to watch Netflix or Disney+. Plus. You probably think of it as a boring utility. You turn it on, you pick a movie, you forget it exists. But that era is officially over. Based on a massive new wave of leaks and credible rumors, the Apple TV 4K schedule for 2025 or 2026 is not just a refresh. It is a complete rewrite of what home entertainment means. Apple is turning this passive little box into a high-performance monster. And honestly, the details are making everyone furious that they didn't do this sooner. Let's be real about how we treat streaming boxes today. They're the digital version of VCR. They are simple. They are functional. They are boring. But the new Apple TV is shaping up to be a Trojan horse. Apple is secretly building a console-level gaming machine and a high-end computer, and they're disguising it as a streaming puck. The hardware story here is actually shocking. Usually, when Apple updates the Apple TV, they toss in a slightly newer chip. Maybe make the remote a little better and call a day. It's an incremental upgrade. It's safe. This time, they're throwing safety out the window. According to the latest reports, Apple is injecting this device with the A17 Pro chip. If you don't follow Silicon News religiously, let me explain why that is a massive deal. The A17 Pro is the brain that powered the iPhone 15 Pro. It was the world's first chip built on the 3 nanometer process. In simple terms, it is a beast of efficiency and raw power. But here is the catch, and this is the part people forget. When you put a chip like that in a phone, it is handcuffed. A phone has a tiny battery. A phone has a glass body that traps heat. You can never truly run that chip at 100% capacity for long because the phone would get too hot or the battery would die in an hour. But the Apple TV plugs into the wall. It has a constant, unlimited power source. It has a much larger body for cooling. By putting the A17 Pro into a streaming box, Apple is unleashing the true potential of that silicon. It can run at full throttle all the time without breaking a sweat. Why would you need that much power just to watch a 4K movie? The answer is you don't. This isn't about movies anymore. This is Apple finally realizing that they have been sitting on a gold mine. This is about gaming. The A17 Pro chip features hardware accelerated ray tracing. That is a fancy term for how light behaves in video games. It's what makes shadows look real. It's what makes reflections on water look like actual water. Until very recently, you needed a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a massive gaming PC to get decent ray tracing. Now, Apple is reportedly putting that capability into a device that fits in the palm of your hand. This suggests that Apple is done pretending. They aren't just trying to get you to play Crossy Road on your TV. They are gunning for the big titles. We are talking about Resident Evil, Assassin's Creed, Death Stranding. We are talking about running these games natively, right on the box, with console-quality graphics. The leaks suggest this device is being positioned to compete directly with the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox, not just the Roku Stick. But the hardware story gets even stranger, and frankly, much more exciting. The A17 Pro might not be alone inside this chassis. There are very loud whispers about a secondary chip. They are calling it the N1 chip. This is a dedicated coprocessor designed specifically for machine learning and AI. If this is true, it changes everything. It shows that Apple is treating the Apple TV like a serious computer. But what does an N1 chip actually do for you in a living room? Imagine it upscalines. We all have that experience where we try to watch an old movie or a YouTube video from 10 years ago and it looks grainy and terrible on a big 4K TV. The N1 chip could use new RAL networks to fix that in real time. It could take a blurry 1080p video and upscale it to crisp, sharp 4K instantly. No blur, no artifacts, just perfect video. Think about Siri. Right now, 
when you ask Siri something on your TV, there is a delay. It has to send your voice to the cloud, process it, and send it back. The N1 chip would allow Siri to process everything right there on the device. It becomes instant. It becomes private. It becomes actually useful. The N1 chip could even analyze the audio of the movie you are watching. You know how annoying it is when the action scenes are too loud and the dialogue is too quiet? You're constantly messing with the volume remote. This AI chip could balance that audio on the fly, separating the voices from the explosions, so you get perfect sound without lifting a finger. This dual-chip architecture, the A17 Pro for raw graphics, it allows the Apple TV to send massive amounts of data back and forth without a hiccup. Combined with the rumored AV1 video decoding support, which is a new highly efficient video format used by YouTube and Netflix, this box will use less data to stream higher quality video. It is future-proofing in the truest sense. When you look at the full picture, the A17 Pro, the N1 coprocessor, the gaming focus, the Vision Pro integration, the Wi-Fi 7 support, you realize that Apple is doing something very specific.